Hey folks, so today we're going to talk about ear stretching. So Goldie Puffs asked me to do a video around ear stretching. I'm no expert at it, but I've done my research and as you can see I've got my ears stretched up to 16mm at the moment and I've got other piercings that I've stretched. So I do know a little bit about stretching. What is the pros and cons about ear stretching? So pros, it looks good. I can put different jewellery in, different designs, different styles, um, different materials which, which we'll go into. What is the cons? Well, once you start stretching your ears, after a certain size, you can't go back down again. You'd have to get ear construction to go back down to a normal size. I stretched mine to a four mils and I took them out and about six months later, I put a stud in and within the day, the stud had come out the other side. Um, so my ears never actually stretched, uh, never shrunk back down to a normal size. And um, they do say about 10 mils is your point of no return. So once you get to 10 mils, there's definitely no going back. You would need to get constructive surgery to get it back to a, a normal state or a normal earlobe, whatever normal is. Um, <clears throat> what is the styles of of, of um, flesh tunnels or ear plugs that you can get? So you can get no flare, which is just basically a cylinder where O-rings on each side, so little rubber bands on each side which would secure it in. You get single flares. So this is a single flare. So it's flared at one side and it's just straight at the other. And again, a little O-ring would be put on that to secure it from stopping it from falling out. You get double flares, which is like that. So it's flared on each side. And also you can get screws or screw fits. So it's screwed in at one side. So it's like a single flare, but you'll have the screw back stop it from coming out again you can get different materials you can get stainless steel you can get surgical steel you can get titanium you can get pyrex glass you can get acrylic glass bone stone wood be careful when you're buying jewelry off off the, the internet some will say it's a certain material but it, it might not necessarily be it could be fake and these things can irritate your ear depending on how susceptible you are to irritations and um, for myself i tend to go for titanium and um, stainless steel um, i do wear the odd glass ones as well so when you are stretching up it's good to start off with either a no flare or a single flare and um, as you're as you're stretching up to a new size before going to double flares what's the best way to stretch your ears there's a taping method it's not the safest it's not the best does it work yes um but you may end up with blowouts or infections and stuff like that if it's not done properly it's not the safest but who am i to judge i am um, i've done it before and um, back in the day when i didn't know any better can i use tapers yeah when I first started um, stretching up, I used really thin tapers. You can get them in different sizes. Um, so it basically starts off narrow and widens down at the bottom. So if you're stretching your ears, you want to buy the piece of jewellery that's the same size as that thick piece at the end of the, the taper. So if I'm stretching my ears up to, say, a 6mm, then I'd buy a single player plug that's 6mm. And when I put the, the stretcher in, then the, the, the single flare um, flesh tunnel or earplug will, will slip in. Don't skip sizes. So don't go from a, a 6 to an 8 or an 8 to a 10. You can get um, odd number tapers, 7s, 9s, 11s. And you can get the single flesh or single flare, sorry, um, tunnels or, or plugs to go with it. Once your single flares have been in for a while, yes, you can go up to double flares. And um, what I tend to do, once I got past, I think it was about 
four mils, five mils. I started what you call maybe dead stretching. So if I woke up in the morning and my earring came out on the pillow, um, then I knew that it was kind of like safe to go up a, a size. So I would go up the next mill. So if I was wearing um, six mils plugs at the time, I would have stretched it up to a seven mil. And um, like I said before, don't be in a, a rush to skip sizes. Um, you're guaranteed a blowout if you skip sizes. If you do get a blowout, what should you do? Take it out, let it heal for a little bit, or go down a couple of sizes, and then slowly, gradually go back up again to your desired size. Um, not all blowouts are fixable, but you can fix a few of them. I've, I've had one blowout, and um, it's okay. I, I kind of like fixed it, um, but if I'm not careful, I might end up with another another blowout so just be careful um, and I stretch my my ears slowly but twice stretch my ears maybe twice in one year three times at the most um, so that was me taking my time and I still managed to get a it was a little blowout it wasn't major but it still happened um, so yeah I had to go back down on my on my sizes and it's not it's not ideal what is the the cons of the other cons is um, of ear stretching is employment. Some employers are still not happy when they see people with stretched ears or facial piercings and stuff like that. So again, it's something you need to think about before you do it. Don't just wake up one morning and say, yes, I'm going to stretch my ears. Take your time. And also, if you don't clean your ears properly or regularly, they stink. It's like, I don't know, ear cheese. It, it is disgusting. Um, I remember once I took my earring out and I says to my boy, I says, oh, sniff my ear. So he, he, he sniffed my ear and he started yakking. And he says, that is absolutely disgusting. So please keep your jewellery clean. It only takes a couple of seconds just to take them out, give your ear a clean and put them back in again. You don't want somebody leaning over your shoulders at work and you've all sprayed nice perfume or deodorant or aftershave and all they can smell is your, your cheesy ears. So please don't let your hygiene slip when it comes to your, your jewellery and that as well. Nobody wants smelly jewellery or nobody wants to look at crusty jewellery. So take it easy and make sure that they're well kept clean. If you've got any questions, anything that you want to talk about or a video that you may want me to do, please leave a note, a comment below and I'll answer them. Take it easy. Stay modified. Catch you later. Yeah.